Hey what up guys, it's uh, Rossi, welcome back to another video, and uh, today guys, um, this is going to be um, um, an extreme update that I had to say. Um, Alright, this is going to be um, something about WonderCon from 2024 of The Dragon Prince Season 6, but this time, but this time it's going to be Blood and Stardust. And oh my goodness, this is going to be amazingly cool. I am officially hyped to see this and uh you know i was like really so hyped to see this right now because i am generally hyped right now because um you know i'm just uh like so hyped like i would like rather like see the first episode in WonderCon, which might be like comic con exactly like i like really hyped to see this one because I'm just like really, 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 really excited for this one. Now I'm gonna go talk to you about some new um, stuff that happened from, which will happen in season six. I mean, and um, you know, I pretty much saw some kind of update, and uh, um, uh, if y'all know that, and uh, and uh, I want to talk talk about about real James's video about. New characters confirmed, season 6 updates for the Dragon Prince trailer, and even um, the release date. So, I'd rather be saying that there was these... and So, so you guys may know back from... I say back from... Um, from February 15th. Um, let's just say that um, some, some kind of Dragon Prince fans... There was one Twitter account called Chigan, TDP... He wrote, hey Dragon Prince fans, I know it's been a while since we've got any news on season 6, but please be patient. Everything will come in time. In the meantime, what are you most looking forward to season 6? Well, for me, I'm actually so excited that, um, if, and pretty much hope that, that somebody will, that some heroes will, will die in season 6. But, uh, but, uh, but if they, but if they do, I'll be so sad that I was hoping it would be. And, uh, it's crazy, yeah. And, and then sooner or later, my, my biggest fan, um, Aaron Haas, wrote, I am sorry the drag, I mean, I am so sorry the season six news cycle is so slow. I think it'll, I think the worth will, will be worth it. I mean, I think the wait will be worth it, but I know it is longer than anyone anticipated. So I feel like now, like, this is going to be, like, more incredible. Like, I've been, like, really... I have to see it, but I'm glad that they're making a panel because I'm pretty much glad though because because back from a uh, 15th on my spirit day that I post on YouTube or and you know what I mean I heard that the Dragon Prince is hosting a panel and fingers crossed at a release date of the release date of Blood and Stardust. Now now I want to talk about some incredible stuff that I've been thinking about. So people will be saying that Comic Con is going to be more amazing, and then the people would see that that it's going to be awesome for the Dragon Prince, for all the people who want to see it, or until they see the awesome Dragon Prince Z6 promo, until it's coming up soon, and I'll be really hyped, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be really awesome. And and once you pass um, one of these great, incredible moments, which is which is my favorite moment of my life, um, some people think that it's pretty great. And it's actually cool. And at the end of the day, I would rather see these Dragon Prince episodes, and it's amazing. And it's because they're they're like so amazing, and they're more more uh, more legit. And and there was like nothing but people to to see how they really make this. And um, 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 people seem to really like the Dragon Prince. Well, like, when there was like cool characters, like and pretty much note that they loved it. And um, and you know, I'm just pretty much glad that. This is gonna be more shocking news than I expected right now because I am like literally hyped because I feel like I would show this to my friends and um you know I'd rather like um wonder if we would go there sometime and uh, we could see the episode and uh and I just remember that would be cool and um what if it could be amazing that um one of my friends and I would rather see the episode and release date and um you know you know you know what which reminds me though. Like, back from my Thomas and Sonic show season 4, I thought about back from, back from 2023 of my 
season three intro version two, I thought it would be nice that if I make this um, Dragon Prince logo with uh, where, I, where I recorded um, um, one of the footage that I got from Person to Beast Productions um, and Mattel, and um, so is Destination Films. And also, which reminds me, back from 2023, I think, and back from January 1st, and I think back from December 2022, um, I kind of helped riff a hashtag one with the Renteur's Wrath arc, and I thought about adding the Mystery of Erevos theme into uh, the show, and then and then later on, I thought it would be nice that it would be like incredible to see um, if he would accept it, and then and I was so happy that he accepted the intro and. Um, and I remember that, like, when I saw his episodes, they were amazing. And, and when you're on YouTube, you'll, like, rather see greatest performance that I loved. And in the moment, I saw what I love about everything that I imagined. And this is incredibly cool that I've been seeing this moment in my life. So, um, I'm, so this is just one of my greatest moments and one of my excited updates for one of my best idea and I'm pretty much hyped for. And, um, you know... I'm, you know, I'm just pretty much not be ready for season six. But um, but if you guys don't mind, if you want to see the Dragon Prince season six on WonderCon, let us know in the comments below, and um, follow me on Divine Art and um, you know, on Discord, and uh, <laughs> and it would be amazing, yeah. <laughs> and um, the only thing I'm excited for is for of the Dragon Prince is that. Is when Airfos is gonna be crying because no, I'm uh, sorry for the spoiler alert, but um, I when I saw um real James's video of the promo trailer, I when I saw the pictures of Airfos crying, that is something I've never seen in my life, and um, it's kind of like, you know, shocking that I've never known, and um, it's kind of crazy, and um, yeah, that's kind of pretty much crazy that I've never thought I would be. And, um, there's, like, incredible footage back from November 2023, when, uh, I saw them on Netflix, um, about Geeked Weekend, I mean, I mean, Geeked Week Netflix, and, um, all of which reminds me, um, back from that day, back in 2023, I think, that I remember when I saw it, I was, like, shocked. My jaw was completely open. And then, the sooner or later, um, I was like, you know, been like trying to, um, giving details of seeing how it would look, and, um, I'm just like, you know, been saying that, um, I'm just like shocked to see some characters, and, um, and also the only thing I have saw was the two, um, flying, um, sky wing elves. I think that's. I think that's what I was calling them. Um, I feel like they're like like one of the most characters I've ever seen, and uh, there was a big dragon. I think that's kind of crazy, and um, you know, and um, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I pretty much think those are like the craziest moments in my life I haven't seen, and um. When I saw them, I was like pretty much crazy, and um, and I pretty much thought it was shocking that I'd say. And uh, and um, one of the things that I actually I loved for the Dragon Prince that is I watched the whole season. It's very very cool to watch um, incredible moments, shows, and even other stuff. And um, it's kind of crazily like more shocking that I expected. Um, but you know, one of the things I remembered, um, back from of uh, one of my greatest, um, early phases of, of watching the show, that uh, they would give it the timeline and would say I would rather watch this crazy moment of my life, and, um, you could rather watch, like, some crazy shocking moments that I remember back on July 27th, 2023. But I remember when I was watching Season 5 of Mr. of Erebos, and I was shocked to see one of these moments, like there was like, like like blood in the ocean, and um, there was this big wave. Like it was gonna it was gonna cover them up, and um, and I was like totally shocked 
that everything is crazy that I pretty much know. Like some new villains and uh, everything is going to be more crazy than I expected. And um, and the only thing I remembered is that where there's a guy named Finnegan was was trying to um, use his magic by or using a spell on Callum, I'd say. And here's the best part. Back from September 2024, when I was recording back at LBI, I'm not gonna lie, I like how Finnegan was like, yate out of the boat, <laughs> and it got kind of fed into the, the fight of the live event. And I'm pretty much glad that, uh, that Deadwood was also named, uh, Elmer, and I'm glad that he smiled, and, um, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, uh, was pretty much crazily shocked to see how it happened. Like, it was crazy that when I, when I watched it, it was amazing. And back from November 13, when I saw the episode, um, it's kind of, like, um, crazy that when Architect got her hands burned, um, that was something that I've been shocking to see, and, um, and I was more crazily shocked that I expected it. And, uh, that was the coolest moments that I came up with. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, like, subscribe, hit the like, and, um, make sure that you guys, um, love, and, uh, make sure you guys, uh, uh, shout out to me, uh, like, subscribe, and put the notifications bell, and don't forget to keep it rigid.